Hey guys, this is Locke. In this video, I'm going to be fighting a person that's using double quicken team and double gunner team, and I'm using neither, but I've created a team that can kind of take them out, and I wanted to showcase that. So this is the CM map, but this is not an actual CM battle because we are fighting in friendly matches, so there's no crystals, so that does make it a little bit different, but I hope the ideas are still kind of the same. Um, for my opponent, I told him that I am fighting a anti-gunner team and asked him to use a gunner team. Uh, but I'll, I'll go over my team in a little bit. Um, the idea for my team is just to like uh, start off and rush him down as quick as I can. Uh, he doesn't know exactly the team I'm using, but uh, you know he knew that it was some kind of anti-gunner uh, team and I would not be using any quickeners. So anyway, um, this is kind of the standard setup that I would see from my opponent. Uh, he would use Federica to buff, and he would have both the Quickeners uh, start casting Quicken on Federica. So Federica is going to take a double turn and start attacking. Now this is actually the very first time that I'm using this team myself. So I made a few mistakes that uh, I like. If I was more familiar with the team, I probably wouldn't have. So for example, like right here when I'm moving Halloween Leela, this is not a good spot for her. Uh, I should have actually moved her closer to my other units. The reason is, uh, so she is using Howlet's TMR, which gives her perfect evade from uh, enemy physical attacks for one turn. So even if she was next to uh, Victora and she got hit by Barrage, she would not take any damage. So I should have actually moved her closer uh, instead of kind of far. Like I was thinking of keeping them apart, but there's no real need for me to do that because uh, yeah, like she wouldn't be taking any damage for this first turn. Um, and then now with Victora, she had uh, Halloween Dryer's TMR, but I did not use that, I sh which is what I should have done. I used, uh, I was trying to, you know, press forward as soon as I can, and so I moved an extra space. I could, I was able to do that, but uh, I probably should have just used Halloween Dryer's TMR instead. And as for Kane, um, he's using his own TMR, so he has plus one move and haste, uh, and I think that's pretty much what I would have wanted to do. So here we can see the damage that uh, my units are taking. Now I said that this is a anti-gunner team, but I'm not using like full-on missile resist. Uh, I am using the Mask of Deceit, which is kind of a standard card to use for Victora because it gives so much pierce attack, um, you know, being an ice element and then all the other standard attacks that it gives, but it also gives 20% missile resist. Um, on top of that, that's I think that's really it for her missile resist that I'm using. I um, I think she has around 40 or 50 percent missile resist. I, I've built her before when I'm strictly facing gunners, and she had like 90 percent resist, and she takes like absolutely no damage. So right now, it's it, like it is an anti-gunner team, but I'm not. It's not fully anti-gunner. You can also deal with other things as well. Uh, so this is just one idea that I have, and I wanted to showcase this in case people are having trouble with it. Um, now, Victor took three turns to take down. So if I had a um, uh, Halloween Dryer's TMR, she would still be alive. She would have one more hit to get rid of before um, uh, before she would go down for the count. So that was a mistake on my part. Uh, you know, I, I end up playing two games with the same person, and in the second game, I didn't make that same mistake. So. Um, it's part of the live PvP scene, really. The more you practice, the better you get familiar with what you should be doing at what time. And that goes for my opponent, too. So right now, this is the first game he's playing against me. On the second game he's playing, he did a totally different uh, sequence of events because he realized that what he's doing now is not working, which is you know, which is kind of standard. Practice makes perfect, right? So um, here, he's using Nevelu. So it was a good thing for me to use Immortal Spirit, uh, not Immortal, Immortal Spirit on Kane. Because otherwise, uh, I figured that his Kane, sorry, not his Kane, his Nivlu might try to uh, dispel the buffs off Kane. Like he's going to remove haste, and if I had used Sentinel, he would have removed Sentinel as well. So it's a good idea for me to have used Immortal Spirit. So I know that he's going to survive one turn, and whatever I cast it is not, it's not gone. It's it's still in effect for, uh, you know, until until he dies basically. <laughs> so um, I think that was a good play on my part to to do that. Now, for Halloween, um, Leela here, she's going to cast full life. Um, now, if this actually goes off, I would only be 50% in the real CM, but I actually end up failing. So, you know, some of the game is also about luck. Uh, and in this, uh, you know, in this specific event, it was an unlucky shot for me. But for example, like I could uh, take my kill shot on Federica and I could have reflexed and she could have killed me in the next turn. So 
luck is always a part of this game and you kind of just uh, have to get used to how how the dice rolls for you i guess um so one thing uh when i'm looking at my opponent this is kind of a standard double gunner double quicken team that i would face uh federica nevlu and shell and my number one priority would always be nevlu and the reason for that is because if i try to attack federica and she reflexed i kind of wasted my attack and i might uh, on the returning uh, on, on the next turn for my opponent i might die so at least by targeting Nivlu, I know for sure I am doing something. I'm probably going to take a damage, unless I miss or something and she has like high evade, but that's usually not the case. So um, I have to make sure that, uh, like I, I want my turns to count. So Nivlu will always be my first priority that I'm I'm trying to take out. Um, anyway, so uh, as you can see, my cane took two damage, two hits, and now he has courage procced. But now he gets to go, and he has a skill that lets him heal. So I am, I don't really need to use that apparently. I can just use Taunting Blade and uh, <laughs> take them out that way. So uh, I decide to use Taunting Blade, uh, and that kills Chell, and the other two units are at low health. So against Double Gunners, this is like mainly it. As, as soon as you get into their face, they're in trouble. So they will try to like, you know, take you out by doing low, like, you know, they'll keep hitting you from afar to try to take you out before you get to them. But as soon as you get to them, they usually go down in like one, if not two hits, unless they reflex, of course. So uh, this game was a win for me, but you can see how close it is still. Like, um, like first of all, I had a lot of bad luck. I, I made a lot of mistakes and had bad luck. And um, uh, I mean, I still won, but if his Nivlu had got an extra turn, he would probably have been able to kill my Halloween Leela. So uh, the matches was you know, very close. And in the second match, now my opponent knows what he's going to do, so he's using a totally different sequence of events. Uh, and in in like in the live PvP scene, you only have 30 seconds to make a decision, so um, practice makes perfect. Like, how would you know you should be uh, quickening on turn one or quickening on turn two? Uh, it comes with practice. Um, usually, when you're fighting other quickeners team, other quickener teams, you want to be able to get your quicken off as soon as you can, so you want to do it on turn one. In this case, he decided to go for a turn two quicken because uh, he assumed that that might be a better um, uh, chance for him to to beat me because he will do more damage by using aimed fire first. Uh, also, like the games when they're actually happening at CM will be different because um, we will have the crystals and also the spawn locations are also slightly different. So we have to also pay attention to that. So I can't replicate it fully, but I'm hoping that I'm giving you guys ideas. Um, now, I personally haven't seen too many double gunner, double quicken teams in this CM yet, but I have seen quite a few double quicken teams, um, and I have seen like a, one triple gunner team as well. But there are people that have faced a few of these double gunners, and but I wanted to showcase that you know this is this strategy would kind of work for most maps, I guess, against double gunners uh, or double gunner double quickens. The problem is a lot of people don't go for missile resist. Like not too many people will will play um, the mask of deceit card. They will rather play like uh, something of slash resist or magic resist. So uh, because of that, gunners have an easier time taking you down, <laughs> like even easier than usual. So uh, and like I, I don't know. I mean, anyone who plays gunners is probably taking advantage of the fact that people are not gearing to fight them properly, right? And that is uh, like you can't blame the gunners for playing something that works more often. Um, but uh, a build like this, I think, has a pretty good chance of beating them. Again, it does come down to luck at some points too. Like, it, like my full life could have missed. Uh, Frederica could reflex. Um, uh, you might get like a lucky crit shot, or the opponent might get a lucky crit shot. So you have to kind of manage that as well and try to account for luck as best as you can. Uh, like, assume something will go wrong, or, and you do this action and something goes wrong. What uh, what is your fallback? Do you have a fallback plan? If you don't, um, uh, like maybe that's not something, maybe that's not the risk you should take. But at some point you have to make risks anyway. So find the opportunity that gives you the best risk versus reward and, and take the shot. Um, so here, his Federica does a lot more damage now because he cast aimed fire first. So, uh, you know, like at, um, even against opponents, like when do you cast aim fire first? When do you cast something else like revitalize first? It's uh, it's it's just it all comes into practice. Um, 
And you can see here, like my, my Victra is in a, a lot of trouble, but again, she only has like about 40 to 50% missile resist. So if I was really wanted to go for like an anti-missile team, I would get her to like 85, 90 missile resist. And I could very easily beat this team with just Victra because I've done it in the last class match. Uh, I had her and Elsa and somebody else. Uh, I think I had Halloween Leela. And I was able to beat uh, Double Gunner, Double Quicken teams very easily because like my Halloween Leela and Elsa would usually die, but my Victor could single-handedly beat them because she had like 85 to 90 missile resist. I don't remember the exact number, but it was somewhere around that range. So in this team, um, like it's not only an anti-missile team. I think it could work for uh, a lot of other types of teams. Like for example, if this was a double quicken uh, Titus team or something, or like a double quicken slash team, I would probably still have similar um, sequence of events. Um, I would probably keep Halloween Leela more in the back and save her uh, uh, Howlet TMR for an extra turn because I would probably not be expecting to get hit on the first turn uh, with a slash based double quicken. So I would probably save it for the next turn to use. Um, if I was facing uh, like a magic uh, double quick and target, then I would probably keep her Ray in the back uh, to like full life because that um, Howlet's TMR is not going to do anything against magic damage. So um, as you can see, this match is also going to be very close. Um, so here, I, I, I think the best move for me to use is Sentinel because I don't have enough AP to attack. And with Sentinel, he has 76 defense. So uh, Federica doesn't have any defense penetration, so she does very little damage when I have that much defense on my uh, cane. So I'm using these units, but the same concept can be applied with other units as well. Like for example, Venera is actually a good unit to fight uh, double gunners because she has 20% missile resist and she has a buff that increases her defense. So you can stack defense on her. I've done her in a different CM and I've used her to fight uh, against double gunners. Um, you can also use, like for example, Kiza, who also has move four. So you want units that have high move and high jump to fight against these because you want to get in their face as soon as possible and you have to jump over all these ledges. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this match. Um, I actually ended up losing this one. Uh, but again, like, practice makes perfect. And I think I made a mistake here as well where I kept both my Halloween Leela and Victra in the range of the Dispel Spread from Nivlu. So, uh, you know, uh, practice makes perfect. But I think, I hope you can at least see the idea behind this. So this might be one way to tackle this team if you're having trouble fighting it a lot in CM and you don't want to use double gunners. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, at the end, I'm showing the uh, formation of both me and my opponent. Uh, so you guys can see what, what espers we used and what uh, equipment loadout we used. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for watching. Take care now.